There you see the lineup, which includes Russ Gamester on the pole. You remember Brad Knopfsinger? He's been around, a former NASCAR Winston Cup Bush Series driver. Jason Leffler, the legendary Bentley Warren. Some wonderful names in this field, Buddy Baker. Yes, Bentley Warren is the oldest guy at 60 years old. And let me tell you, he runs like crazy. You see Rich Tobias Jr., the number 74, their team owner, Steve Weirich's father, Jack Weirich, passed away yesterday afternoon. Jack was a great asset to the team, and he is going to be very, very fondly missed. We wanted to make sure we mentioned that here today because uh, that team feeling the loss, certainly. Every lap counts, except the last couple that were under caution. Here we go. Green is in the air in Memphis, Tennessee. Davidson, Russ Gainster, that's the top two right now as they sort themselves out on the start. We'll keep you apprised of the championship battle as Davidson, he's with a beast chassis, works his way to the front. Now what they're doing right now is getting heat into the tires. They're not getting the maximum grip, so don't be surprised if you see some cars like Jason Leffler right there. He could lighten it up. He lights the tires up trying to get down in the corner. That was Brian Tyler as well. Lighting things up just a little bit. Good scramble among the front three. As you see, Brian Tyler there in third spot trying to hang tight with the top two, Glenn, but he's lighting up those wheels. Oh, yeah, Eli, I tell you, he got off to a great start. He's the guy that had to finish the furthest ahead of those other two guys, and he wasted no time in trying to get to the front in that number 69 Kroger machine. Remember, he started in eighth, is already up to third, and making a move now to try to take over second. Brian Tyler is going to do everything he can to try to hang on to his chances to win that Silver Bullet Series championship. What an awesome run early on for Brian. Casey Kane there in the number 67. One of the rookies in the series. He's in second spot right now. Trying to pick their spots here. Tyler in that 69, he's the white car. And the black car there, the 19, that's Dave Steele. He's a past winner here. He won this race in 1998 here. Started in third spot, Steele did. Off turn number two on the back straightaway. And the 25, Derek Davidson started in second. He's now got the lead. The 67 is Kane. Tyler is in that white machine, the 69. Dave Steele right there in the black car. He's running in the fourth spot. Eli wouldn't surprise me to see that 19 go right up to the lead there. He's a current track record holder here at over 129 miles an hour. Further back, Tracy Hines. Next in the fifth spot, there's the one of Ryan Newman, that yellow number one. He's the past champion here in 1999. He's the Silver Bullet champion. There's a good look at Ryan Newman. A couple of wins and won the championship in 99. He won at St. Louis in July of last year. And in this race, a year ago, he finished eighth and went on to win the championship. And of course, under the tutelage of one LZ Wiley Baker Jr. Yeah. Buddy Baker helped Ryan Newman learn the heavy stock cars. And he went ARCA racing. Five starts, three wins in ARCA competition. Eli, it's been a pleasure to work with Ryan Newman. I talked to Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon about this guy, and they told me, they said, listen, not only does Roger Penske think a lot about his driving ability, and of course, Don Miller, uh, also had a lot to do with him getting a ride in the Penske car in ARCA, but he's won three out of five races and never had entered a race with a car with the hat fenders on it. So it wasn't just by my helping him. This guy had a tremendous amount of talent, and he's one of those guys that started racing go-karts when he's like six years old. Into the mid, a winner there, then into Silver Bullet. Right now you see second place, that's Tyler. He is 
is up to second and challenging Davidson for the lead. But meanwhile, back in seventh spot, Larry Mack, a good run for Ryan Newman. It really is, Eli, considering he started 11th. But what I found interesting is they have a choice of the compound of tire that they can run. But whatever you qualify on, you have to start on. You've got kind of two versions there. You have a soft tire that will probably qualify fast, but could bite you in the end of a 100-lap run. Ryan Newman is one of the few cars that chose to go with the hard tire. That's probably why he didn't qualify as good, but now his laps start winding on. That's probably why he's moving up. But one thing I've noticed, buddy, he's running that second group because, especially down here in one and two, when he runs on the bottom, he bottoms out real bad. Yeah, and if you remember, it hadn't been that long ago on national television. He actually wore a hole in the gas tank. The car was running very low, and it drove the bottom part of the race car to the point that it ruptured the gas tank, and fuel started pouring out of the back, and he had to retire the car. Good battle. Just three laps ago, Batman Casey Kane took over the top spot here. He had been pacing himself behind the 25 of Derek Davidson. And here's how the pass went, with Davidson caught up to the high side behind one of the slower machines, the Pat Abold machine. It opened up Casey Kane's lane. He scooted off to take over the top spot. That coming just a handful of laps ago as we're now at lap number 20. His best finish here in Memphis was eighth a year ago. But right now, car number one is number one. Ryan Newman made the pass for the lead moments ago. Here's how it looked. Ryan gets great grip out of the corner there. They go down the straightaway there. Ryan just drives right to the bottom of the racetrack. Adios. Casey Kane could not cover the spot, and Ryan Newman takes the lead here in the Memphis. Working lap 72. Let's give you a rundown right now. The race leader is Ryan Newman. Running in second, Brian Tyler. Third is Casey Kane. And fourth is Tracy Hines. Behind them, running in the fifth spot, will be Russ Gates. In sixth is Dave Steele. Seventh is Derek Davidson. Eighth is Brad Nofsinger. Jason McCord is running in ninth spot. And tenth is Bud Kading. That's your top ten as we work now lap 73 of 100 live here on TNN from the Memphis Motorsports Park. Already today, one champion has been crowned, Jeff Green in the NASCAR Bush Series, and then the Usain Coors Light Silver Bullet Series champion to be crowned in the span of 26 more laps. Tracy Hines just then had to cross it up a little bit, getting off the corner there, but gets a great run now, coming out of turn four. Good scramble right there. 67, Casey Kane in the middle of that mix. 51, Russ Gamester. And now, we have one machine slowing here on the main straightaway. It's the leader, Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman slowing off turn four, lap number 76. So the leader slows. It gives the lead up to the second place runner, Tracy Hines. And now the question is, are they going to be able to uh, push the car out of harm's way? Brian Tyler now with the top spot. Tracy Hines in second. Eli, that's got to be so disappointing to have the dominant car in the race and just all of a sudden it seemed to just lose power. There's Brian Tyler showing the way and again the race leader Ryan Newman climbing from his machine Larry McReynolds that's a heartbreaker. Yeah it is I talked to Greg Newman who is his dad and acting crew chief and he said the clutch let go on it that won't let you go anymore so that's a story on a guy that looked like he was going to drive away with this thing uh, Ryan Newman. But right now the man who's driving away with it is Brian Tyler and Tracy Hines. Just 21 to go. He's, 21 he's getting off a little bit but uh, don't get caught in traffic. We're back to Memphis. Right after this. Still looking damn good. And there you see slowing is the number 80 of Robbie Flock. So Robbie Flock, the three-time USAC 
Western Midget Champ with 39 career wins. Will not get a win here today. He finished third here at Memphis a couple of years ago. But not Five. this afternoon with 10 laps to go. Great. Fine. You got that distance. 10 laps to do in, buddy. Looking good, Brian. That would be what you call a cheerleader. He's telling him and keeping him pumped up, keeping him on that, what we call the eye of the tiger, where you really concentrate on every lap, every move you make. Second in points in nine to go, baby. Hang on, sir. Hey, for that car and take care of it. You know how to do it. Third in points this year was mathematically in the hunt to win the title, and he's doing what he has to. Mike Ordway slowing on the main straightaway. Car's the front straightaway. Here the spotter's Don't coming. Make it. Keep coming, Brian. There's Ordway. He'll have to pull off at the end of this wall right here and get out of the way. There's, see the official telling him to turn hard left. This is the great super modified ace from up at Oswego, New York. Mike Ordway, his day is done. Now Brian Tyler. No challenges from behind. The 37 of Tracy Hines running second. And he's got a real problem got just behind five. him. Russ Gamester is really putting the heat on him. But Tracy Hines is only looking forward towards the championship. He came in five points behind Dave Darling. Brian Tyler is the man who's leaving, uh, leading here in Memphis. Five laps to go. You can tell those cars get a little twitchy when they get light, don't they? Oh, yeah, and, you know, that right rear right there, that's 18 inches wide, and once it gets hot, it's very, very greasy, and you have to just slip it off the corner. It's almost like running dirt. You'll see them really going at the steering wheel to get it off the corner. Certainly, we were due off the air at 4 o'clock local, 5 o'clock Eastern, but clearly we're not going to leave this championship battle in midstream. We're staying right with you here at the Memphis Motorsports Park. To put a capper on the 2000 USAC Coors Light Silver Bullet Series, Tracy Hines looking for the championship. Eli, he knows right now. You Come see on, him man. still, though, giving it all he's got, trying to hold on to that second spot. He won at Nazareth this year. He won at Gateway in Madison, Illinois, just outside of St. Louis. Got one car lift. Let it roll in nice and easy all the way through. Got to have a good Tracy Hines won the final three USAC sprint car races of the year. Whoa. To finish third in that series standing. Didn't mean to yell. Tracy Hines nice got very right loose right coming out of turn four. Russ Gamster was almost ready to make a move there. He got her back straight and just powered down the straightaway. So as was the case in the NASCAR Bush Series race, where we had two winners today. Kevin Harvick in the race and Jeff Green with the championship. So too it seems to be the case here for the USAC machines. That man, Brian Tyler, en route to the race win, while Tracy Hines will grab the championship. Looking for the checkers as the spinning Dave Darlin puts an exclamation point on a tough afternoon. Tyler wins. Way to go, Brian! And Tracy Hines will come home with the championship. Down there. I'll have a beer for you. Way to go. You're the fan, buddy. <laughs> Boy, that, brings, that makes me want to get back out there and give her another go. Win the race, get a barley pop. It's that simple. We'll interview the winner and the champion, Tracy Hines, when we continue our coverage from the Memphis Motorsports Park. Larry McReynolds downstairs with a lot of smiling folks. Well, I tell you, I'm here with a pretty happy crew chief, Jack French. It's, it's been a long time since January, won that first race of the season. You maybe didn't win the war, but you won the battle here today, Jack. We didn't win this war. We dominated this battle. We had broke that coil there. That red saved us, you know. That, that's the one thing that made this race. Brian said, he said, I can do it. I can come from back in there and win this thing. The car was wonderful on the start. He said, we got a fast race car. So I'm happy for Gus Hoffman. Yesterday is 90th birthday. We wanted to give him the championship. We give him a good win anyway. They did indeed. And I tell you, congratulations from everybody at TNN. It was fun doing this race.
They won the 2000 Silver Bullet season opener in Orlando. Followed it with second place finishes at Phoenix and Nazareth. Ryan Tyler wins the race. Tracy Hines is our champion.